Hello everyone, welcome back to the Ignite series. Now I just wanted to tell you guys I'm not very good at commentary. I've been noticing that for the past few videos. I can't really commentate that good on these races. So I'm just going to try and make this one basically just let you guys watch it. And I'm, I'm still going to comment but not as much because I really just can't do it that good. So I also want to show you guys right here, uh, if it'll come up. Here you can see I'm 24th in the standings after this race. So it went just as I was expecting. It's a road course. I did really well. Qualified third in, I think, two of the races. And the last one went really bad. I actually blew my motor up because I use a sequential stick shift, the Iologs one. And I really was getting nervous for some reason. And so I was getting so nervous that I actually pushed the gear forward on the re on the start and that obviously shifted down into first from second and I blew my motor up. I still managed to get sixth though, but I was a lap down. So I got a good point salvage. But anyways, back to the point. So let's go ahead and jump in these replays. 24th in the standings. I'm very very happy with that. And I'm also glad that my uh safety rating is has a come back up, although I don't think it'll stay there for much longer. I'd also like you guys to let me know, would you prefer to see live action over a, uh, instead of replay? How I've been doing it lately is I've been doing replays. I've just been doing my race normally, and then I would save the replay and record this video later. But would you guys rather I have like a foot cam and maybe a point of view camera like over my shoulder or something and actually have live race and then I commentate over that footage. Just let me got, let me know down in the comments if you prefer that over this uh, replay how I'm doing it now. Okay so here's my qualifying lap. I'm gonna go ahead and just let you guys watch. I'm definitely not opening up my corners enough. And like usual, I'm too aggressive on the brakes. Alright, so there we go, cross the line, that was a 126.2. My second lap I didn't get to finish because I was too slow, and they only give you 5 minutes to qualify. So let's go ahead and skip over to the race now. Okay, here we are for the pace lap, the race is about to start any moment. Uh, let me guys, let me know in the comments if these camera angles are good too, because I'm trying to make it so you guys can see a lot. Okay, here we go. Pace, bar pace car is going to turn off to the right. Getting a good start here is really hard. I got a decent jump. The guy's behind. I'm pulling away from the, the second place car and got in front of him. Problem is, I'm slower and I let him on the inside right here, which was a very, very bad move. I should have just closed the door as soon as I got in front of him. Getting really close to the wall here as much as you can. I could have gone way closer there. And then from here it's just a whole ton of consistency. Being as consistent as you can so you can keep up with these faster guys. These guys up front, the 
first and third, first and second place cars were nearly a second faster than me, or maybe more, I think. So I definitely was gonna fall behind. Really, I had a battle for third in this race. There's also two full send cars behind me, so I definitely have to be aware that I can get a teammate battle here, which is not, the, not a thing you want to be stuck in. So slowly by slowly, I'm losing the competition up ahead. Definitely not going to be able to get past third place in this race because I was just too slow. Another thing I realized as I got further into this race was that there were some really fast guys that didn't qualify, so that was definitely going to hurt me in the long run if I'm not consistent. So as the time went on, lap 13, the 3 car, which was apparently a really fast car that didn't qualify, made it up to my place. So now I had to start fighting for my position and defending it, but he was pretty quick. One thing I didn't like about how he was driving was he was going for every single space that was available. So like, even if there was no space, he would see like right there, he, he didn't have to bump me there. He's just trying to push me and shove me out of the way, so I really had to close the door on every single entry, otherwise he would have got past me. Now, another thing I could have done was I could have let him by early in the race and just dumped him at the end, but at this point in the race I wasn't really wanting to do that. But looking back at it, I would have actually got way, way less incident points if I would have done that in the first place. So he kept bumping me there and that built up a couple incident points. I could have just let him by originally and just stayed on his bumper throughout the race. Really this was the only competition throughout this whole race so there was nothing really I could do. So at this point he uh, opened the door there, at least I thought. He goes in really wide and then closes it off afterwards so we hit. He hit me again. That was just a bad move on my part to be honest. And here he bumps me out of the way. That was Netco, definitely. In the race, I actually thought he bumps me, but you can see he breaks way later. But see, he obviously didn't even touch me there. That was just total Netco. Okay, so a while later, I caught up to him, but he seemed to have messed up his braking point or something. You can see he got really loose. That's what happens in these cars if you brake too hard. That gave me a good gap and allowed me to not exactly pull away because I was still slower than him. But it allowed me to get away from him uh, for a long enough time so that further in the race I could have a better chance of keeping third. So here he goes again. He tries to dive bomb, but as you can see, it was a failed attempt. He got too loose. Otherwise, well, that wasn't really a dive bomb to be honest, but it was possible that he could have wedged his way in there. And here I'm definitely breaking way earlier than he is but I'm getting on the gas uh, earlier than he is. So I'm braking earlier and I'm getting on the gas earlier. So I get a good run, but not a good entry. So that allows him to kind of keep his pace up here. And that, these two turns right here, especially this one, I don't really know how to enter it, but it just seems like everybody's getting in way faster than me, apparently. Here, he's trying to go on the inside. I don't want to let him, but really I had to give him room there. But it doesn't really matter because on this next turn it just sets me up on the inside so I keep it. But then he runs wide which gives him a really really good run but I was in his way so he couldn't really use it. Here again he just bumps me. I don't know why he does that. And then here that was kind of a cutoff. And then see he's just going for the gap that doesn't exist. Like there's no gap there so why would he go there? He, I mean he's obviously going to bump me. And then he does it again, and then he tries to get the gap there. And now he's going to try and take it too wide into this corner, which is impossible, so I just let him by. And that kind of gave him too much of a gap now, so then I had to catch up for a while. I think this guy was just frustrated or something, because that's what happens when you, don't, when you uh, are frustrated. You usually don't race good. Anyway, so at this point I'm also trying to race him hard, just trying to go for every gap there. By this point I'm realizing I need to open it up a little more. 
I'm still not touching the apex, so that's not really bringing me as much up to as much speed as I would like through that turn. That's over braking there. I almost hit the tire barrier there. I never realized how close I was getting to these walls and stuff. I thought I had like inches of room, but I can see I'm leaving like a whole foot of space. And like there, I thought I was scraping the the uh, these rumble strips, but I'm not even touching them. So last lap, I didn't get to make it in front of him, and so I got fourth. So the other two races after this, as I already mentioned, the last race I got sixth and was lapped down, so there's nothing to show there. And the race after that, I just stayed consistent and nothing really happened either. So this is really all I can show you guys. So I'm going to be trying to get some other videos out this week. Let me know how I can improve these race videos, any suggestions you have, and how you'd like to see it, because I really don't know how to make these. But thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.